a Calgary truck driver who was involved in the Humboldt Broncos bus crash that killed 16 people and injured 13 others pleaded guilty to all 29 counts of dangerous driving back in January, has now been handed an eight-year jail sentence, which makes it six months for each of the 16 people killed. According to an agreed statement of facts, Sidhu was going between 86 and 96 km per hour when he drove through a stop sign and into the intersection north of Tisdale, it was determined that Sidhu's actions caused the collision and that alcohol, drugs, and distracted driving were not factors in the crash. The judge said that Sidhu accepted guilt and that removes the maximum penalty, the crash was avoidable and Sidhu's prolonged inattention led to 16 deaths and 13 injuries, Mr. Sidhu had ample time to react as he approached the intersection, had he been paying attention. According to an agreed statement of facts, Sidhu was solely responsible for the crash, a forensic collision report found he didn't break at the intersection of Highway 335 and 35 before hitting the bus. The report said Sidhu's view of the intersection was not impeded by any environmental factors like trees near the road or sun in his eyes. In court, the judge noted that Sidhu was preoccupied with a flapping tarp covering his truck's load and failed to notice road signs, she said a person is not innocent simply because the consequences of their actions are not foreseeable. She said Sidhu had many chances to stop but didn't, and said it was inconceivable he missed the intersection's many large signs, including flashing lights, the failure to comprehend the signage is what elevated it from a traffic offense to a criminal act. In a statement, the Humboldt Bronco said the team is thankful that the matter is over and that Sidhu is being held to account for his actions, more than 90 victim impact statements were presented to the court by friends and families of victims during an emotional week-long sentencing hearing. During sentencing arguments last month, the prosecutor said Sidhu had more than enough time to slow down and stop, stating it would have taken the semi more than 100 meters to stop, but the first warning of the intersection was 400 meters away. Sidhu entered the intersection like a rocket. It wasn't a case of momentary distraction, noting there were four signs in advance of the intersection, as well as a large stop sign with a flashing light. A car was also stopped directly across from him on the highway, waiting for the Broncos bus to pass. At the time of the crash, training for Canada's 300,000 semi-drivers had been optional everywhere except Ontario. Broncos' parents, families of other victims, academics, and drivers themselves petitioned and pushed for change, training became mandatory in Saskatchewan last week, and will become mandatory across Canada in 2020. Under federal law, a permanent resident convicted of a crime that holds a maximum sentence of at least 10 years will be deported. Sidhu grew up on a farm in India and followed his girlfriend to Canada in 2013 and is a permanent resident, not a citizen of Canada. With the way sentencing works in Canada, Sidhu is eligible to apply for parole after serving one third of his eight year sentence, so after 2.6 years, he will get statutory release mandated by law after February 3rd of his sentence, or 5.3 years. By looking at the sentencing Desi Sion, Sidhu is actually facing 21 years behind bars, as well as a 10-year driving ban, a lifetime ban on ammunition, a ban on any firearm for 10 years after his release, and life ban on any firearm or ammunition, plus deportation back to his home country of India immediately after release. The sentencing decision reads, on count 1, dangerous driving causing death, I sentence Mr. Sidhu to 8 years incarceration. On each of counts 2 through 16, inclusive, the remaining counts of dangerous driving causing death, I impose sentences of eight years incarceration, concurrent to count one and concurrent to each other. On each of counts 17 through 29, inclusive, being the 13 counts of dangerous driving causing bodily harm, I sentence Mr. Sidhu to five years incarceration, concurrent to each other and concurrent to counts one through 16 inclusive. I exercise my discretion and, on count one make an order prohibiting Mr. Sidhu from operating a motor vehicle on any street, road, highway, or other public place in Canada. This order starts today and is for a period of 10 years plus any period to which he is sentenced to imprisonment. In addition, a firearms prohibition is mandatory pursuant, on count one, I make an order prohibiting Mr. Sidhu from possessing any firearm, other than a prohibited firearm or restricted firearm, and any crossbow, restricted weapon, ammunition and explosive substance during the period that begins today and ends 10 years after his release from his imprisonment. Further, I make an order prohibiting him from possessing any prohibited firearm, restricted firearm, prohibited weapon, prohibited device, and prohibited ammunition for life. I make the same orders on counts 2 through 29, inclusive, concurrent to count 1 and concurrent to each other. It is misleading to have the public think that Mr. Sidhu is only facing 8 years, 
which is stupid anyways because six months manslaughter for each person killed is not a significant period for this type of offense, and having the people believe that just because Mr. Sadu did not set out that day with the intent of doing this, makes it okay, this does not make it okay because many accidents that happen, the person does not set out to do it, which is why it's called an accident, so then everyone that has ever been in an accident should not get stiff penalties, from the beginning of time to the future if this is what happens. Also, it does not make sense to ban him from driving during the amount of time he is imprisoned, no one can drive in jail anyway so this is pointless to have during his time, and if he does get out sooner, as soon as he is deported he can live life where he came from and drive again and live the rest of his life which is pathetic because there are 16 people that can't. As of December 2018, the Criminal Code of Canada increased the maximum penalty for dangerous driving causing death from 14 years to life imprisonment, and the maximum sentence for dangerous driving causing bodily harm from 10 years to 14 years. The changes do not apply to Sadu because the crash happened before the amendment.